Good morning, people. I'm here at Scotty's yard. Uh, Rob's forklift keeps cutting off. I've just diagnosed the problem. It's got a fuel leak on the filter, so when he switches it off for a bit, it uh, it drains down, drains back, and then he has to pump it to bleed it. But it's, I've just found a split in the part. Just wants it cutting and shutting, uh, and an oil leak on one of the boots or something. I don't really know. Let's just do this first. Take one job at a time. Start there. What? Still, got those lights, got the wall. Oh, that's yeah, cool, I'll have a look. Oh, no. Was it good? Did you do a pipe? Just a pipe, then, Yeah, it off, it? Yeah. yeah. By professional snips, Rob. Yeah. Only true professional mechanics use these. Yeah. Pruning shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah that Fucking do believe that shit. You blow that out, Rob? Yeah. yeah. Better get it. Well, oh, I like that then, Rob. Gently does it. Yeah, it's got an oil leak in there, but it's a bit hard to get at, Mark. Hopefully it'll be a bit more accessible if it does that, clamps it up. Well, open it! There! That's about it. It's going a bit chilly now it is. Uh, I've done that oil leak on that Fuchs, now I've got an oil leak on this other Fuchs. It's just uh, steaming it off a lot. Because it's in a rock now. And I'm freezing cold. Look at him people. He's a beauty. Exact same problem with this one. That elbow's loose in there, but you need to crack it all off to tighten it all up. Yeah, I've just done that. I had to crack off that, undo that elbow, tighten the inner one up, and then tighten the boat. You see, yeah, it's complicated. I mean, you can't see it in there. I can't get the camera in. Uh, Scott says, can I find the fault? With one of the troubles, it's leaking waste out the side of it. He wants me to put some conveyor belt and stop it leaking waste out the side. So let's go and have a look at that job. Like following its way round the conveyor, isn't it? When are they on shut down? I need to do that when it's shut down. That didn't last very long already, bro. The Aussie Aerial. One's still on down there, that one's gone though. Good job I've got a spare. You fucked it, take it off. Look at that. Brand new Australian pole. Is that off yet? Yeah. Don't worry. Look at that! Christmas trees are up again! Look at that little dog lot. There's real goodness in that little dog, isn't it, Leos? He does buy people from time to time, but it's because they're in his territory, people, aren't they, Leos? <laughs> He's vicious. Vorming that little dog! Good job he ain't got no teeth, isn't he? Or he'd be mauling everybody. There'd be more blood about than a little if you had teeth, Leos. I can see you, Leos. We can see ya. Poor Leos. Poor, poor. Poor Leo. Poor Leo. I don't like fucking heights. It's like flipping like round. It's like flipping round. Going under, in it. What the fuck's that thing for? I don't want to be there, does it? Oh, we've got screws coming out of the fucking thing. Put all the screws in it, look. coming out of it. Oh. That's that one. Can you imagine? This belt's off, look, and all up. That belt one's tracking. I'm tracking to it, yum, and. Yeah, you have to do it at yon end. Yon end! Yon side! Really, you see, that conveyor wants coming in more, but obviously we can't do it because it's up on its, it's up on these stilts and you can't move them. But I'm thinking just put a bit of belt in up there like that to rub on that. Trouble is, it's going that way, innit? And all this, look, all this 
freaking oh this one's grinding off all these bits of these aren't helping because the waste is getting attached to there and it's and it's chucking it the other way in it i should think most of it's down to the all these screws you know the waste hitting the screws and then it and then it attaching to him and taking it under I'll, I'll get my grinder and cut up look at it they're everywhere literally everywhere bloody hedgehog oh bits of glass look now's the perfect time to try out my new stanley knife from bin what's that oh bin bin m fiver bin m that's it bin m <laughs> don't you say that deals put it up Everyone's in a big damn hurry here, aren't they? Chris, when, when are you going to start up, Chris? When can we start up? Fucking hell. Give me a chance, people. <laughs> yeah. You need to stop for running repairs, I'm afraid. Are you here to do some cutting, Wallace, or what? What are you here for? <laughs> what? Do drum. Do drum, lad. Oh, yeah. Give me a demo. Oh. They're all the way down it. They need to do underneath it as well, Wallace. Oh, let's do it moaning. I've got you on camera now, Wallace, moaning about the job again. <laughs> so all our Wallace does is moan about the job, people, isn't it? Put your goggles on, Wallace. Good boy, Wallace. That's it, Wallace. William Wallace! Look at William's squinting technique. Ha! <laughs> Funny lad, isn't he? I know, I don't know! Fucking peppered with him, innit? Hey, I'll pass that grinder, Wallace, because this is blunt. blunt. I'm, I'm chewing. Come on, come on. No, I'm not waiting for ya. Wallace! Look at him with that grinder. Are you working that grinder? Is that grinder working you? It is, though. I didn't need your poxy grinder anyway. You gotta go underneath it, yeah, do little bits underneath. Obviously, the, that's only half the belt on. Hey, well, this is his fucking, him, this is his famous bodging. The what? Famous bodging skills. <laughs> <laughs> Bodget and Scarpa, innit? I'm Bodget, you're Scarpa, ain't you, Will? I'm, I'm the guy that they called to get a proper job done. Oh, <laughs> you shit. Go on, I do, Paul. See that, Wallace? Shit. What? What was that? Off limits. <laughs> off limits? Showed them a fucking video of your bum and said off limits. <laughs> You're an arse, Wallace. You're a fucking arse, mate. Are you, are you a proper cameraman, Well, You'll want a wage next, won't you? Being a cameraman. Cameraman. Fucking top cameraman, mate. Fuck a minute. Fucking seven stone force on that grill. <laughs> <laughs> Wet through. I reckon we need it here and all, you know. Yeah, yeah we do. I reckon it's coming over there and all. Look this. Back. You cut a bit out. Brother's that. To me. To you. To me, to me, to you, to you. One more in that little Wallace there, and then we'll. Are you going to cut some rubber for there, or are you just going to play about that camera all day? Here. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking let me get me out of there. What's that shit there, that way? We need to track this up, boys, and all, you know. Look at the fucking belt, look. It's pissed up, look. What do you reckon that? Do you reckon that's going to... It's going to work, innit? It's going to work, that. Got a bit of slack in the belt, look. So I'm thinking this side, if I tension this side up, it'll take the belt over that way, then. Well, I was waiting. I'd start him up. I was talking to Mick, you know, last night. That's transporter, Mick. Uh, met him at Newark Services because he was passing by, so he bought me some Fosters. Cheers, Mick. And I moved his towage for him. And I was talking to him last night, and uh, and he was saying about how hey, you can soon get in trouble with uh, people not paying you, obviously, in business. You know, when you get in that far debt, and then all of a sudden the business goes through, so that's it, your whole business goes through. And I said to him about my customers nowadays, you know, like who I've got now. Uh, I did my invoicing the other day for the, uh, well, a few weeks ago, for January. I, was, I did it mid-February, for January. Uh, I know I was late, and I, you know what it's like. I did it on a Saturday morning. So I sent all my invoices out on email on a Saturday morning. And you know what? By Saturday night, everyone had paid. Everyone. That's on a Saturday and all. O officially a non working day, really, is it? Saturday. But yeah, everyone had paid. All my customers had paid within that same day. Now that is good customers, you see, innit? 
Now that is why I don't mind going out my way. You know when someone's got a breakdown or got something wrong, I don't mind going out my way because I know for a fact when I put my uh, invoice through, they'll pay it straight away. And, they, uh, and I'm lucky, obviously. I've, I've been in business years, Anna, uh, and I've never had it that good where I've got that, that, that good customers where they pay straight away, obviously. But now, the, the, the customers have gone, gone at the minute, as I said, same day, bang, it's in your bank. You can't get a better than that, can you? Hey. Right, they're, gonna, they're, they're just loading now, processing. Let's, let's have a look, see whether it comes through. I think what I do now as well, I email them obviously, but I don't just email them, I take a screenshot of the invoice and then I send them it through WhatsApp. Because some people are like me where they don't uh, they don't look at their emails obviously. So that helps as well. Yeah, better isn't it? Yeah, it's only a bit coming off that corner, that's where the belt the belt needs adjusted a bit more that way. Before it was coming all down here, piling up down here. Yeah, yeah. Well, I did it down full. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Well, I think we'll be all right now, then, won't we? Nice and cheap repair. I'm chuffed with that. That's a little, wasn't it? Bloody good show. Let's see if there's anything else to do here while I'm here. Ha! We've had no struggles today, people. We've been on the ball today. Well, I've got two minutes, I'm going to do this beast. Look at this. Yeah, I've got this to do, look. That's tight, lock. For our birdie, this is. I've got this tight, lock, so I've got to remove this out bit. Oh, it's plastic. Come on, let's do this. See? Well, I've got... Well, I've got a few minutes. This is more important than anything, really. It, it is. I ought to have done this first thing. <laughs> oh, I don't know. They don't make bikes like they used to, do they? It's just a plastic bush, man. They used to have bearings in the headsets of these and that, didn't they? Now, look, you've got a plastic bush. No, you can't. You've just got to loop it up then, haven't you? Let's get some lube on it. Oh, it's got a little dink there, look. I'm going to undink that. Well, let's try her out. Come on, let's try it Oh, look at Robert, Law. <laughs> Hiya, Robert. Hello. I think we're going to have to strip the whole bed down. Oh, why? What's it's, happened? The bottom one's lifted. Oh, dear. And there's two bolts missing. Oh. Can't you go in then? Yeah, but I've had a shift one in between now, so you have to take it out and clean before you can bolt oh, it Oh, before you can bolt it up? Yeah. Will that come out separate? Yeah. yeah. All this is on the sink. Take all these out. Take all this out. Let's do it then, dot com. Look at that, the finest Chinese socket there, look. Look at that. That's a good make, it must be. Duck cost. Look at that, I've never seen a socket like that before. Made out of the finest Chinese. Right, we'll get some tools. You know it's a special occasion when the inch snap on comes out. The ones at the back, the fucking socket goes Oh, look at this fucking thing. I know, that's what I like. Oh, I need a spanner on that end, don't I? This is going to go. Yeah. Ah, William, you're just coming to time, mate. Just run on this bar, mate. Yeah. Yeah. In there. Oh, yeah, go on, Wallace. That's it, Wallace. Look at Wallace people, he's a freaking expert on the bar, Wallace. He comes just to the right, I bet you're glad you come now, Wallace, ain't yeah? See what we was doing. Off, yeah, go on, you're right. Is it? Wait there, mate, yeah. Let's get a block on. Fucking hell, Wallace, that's tight, innit? Don't call him William Wallace for now, you know. Hello, Wallace. Oh, for maybe a good thing, Because he's been on that Red Bull, look, people. Yeah. I'm thinking if we just hold that somewhere, like that, and then I'll give him one to the other one. 
I'll let you all. Well, we're not fucking doing. Yeah, go on. It's holding there. I don't trust you, boys. Lads, come out there. Oh, just grab a forklift and put the tie on under there, look, Rob. Yeah, lift it up to that. Go get a forklift, Will. Grab a forklift, lad. Yeah. Well, a bit more. Go. Look, look at all this lot. Look, all that space though, what's compact in though. Yeah. Oh, I see metal's jammed in it. Yeah, metal's jammed in it. Come up, come up between the grooves, we have to grind a lot off, yeah. Can't leave that out, like. Get screwed, right? Let's take the fucking grid out. <laughs> Rob, look, we've got a crack around here, look, crack, 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 so all that's fucking lifted up, look, look to it, level, look. Fucking hell, that's not going to get well, you know. Aye? Some hard to hit that. Some of hard to hit, can it? The rest of the Look, it's stripped here, look, Rob. That plate is come away from that, look. That's the problem, Rob. Yeah. That's the problem, it can actually fucking snap. Yeah. I've just spotted the problem, look. You see that? There, look, broke away there, and that plate is all lifted out like that, but that's why it's getting wasted in it, because there's a gap there now. Because that one's straightening, look, Rob, and that one wants yeah. straightening together. And then welding it. The whole lot's been bent back, hasn't it? Yeah. Right, I've rang Ocho's up. Uh, I sent him some photos, asked Stuart, and he says that he's busy, like real busy. Uh, I said if we bring it down tonight, he said I might have chance booked it tomorrow, but I can't promise you. I think we've just been looking now, I think the only way is to chop that top, I'll show you in a minute when it comes. I've just tried fucking uh, WhatsApp in that snowball and uh, engineering off YouTube because I thought he might be able to do that. I rang up uh, Welder Faber, he's snarled up and all, he's busy as hell. Uh, I'm just thinking of options, really. I think I may end up taking it to shows, but I could do with doing it like, you know what I mean, yesterday. That quick. <laughs> you know what I mean. Right, Scott's got a colour where someone dropped off a, a uh, what do you call it? A, a business card. <laughs> a business card off uh, Scott the other day. Uh, and and he's like an engineering lad, local here. And Scott's rang him and he's coming down now in about an hour and a half. Really, I've just been looking at it. Really, what one saw is that plate chopping there. That plate chopping, so that comes all the way off. Bend that back, clean up here, VHR, and then re weld it back on in it. Shouldn't be much of a big job, should it? Surely not. Don't call me Shirley, Chris. If I had a good enough weld, I'd do it myself. I just grind that, that plate off, as I said. Mind you, you need to warm that up, don't you? You need some good heat on that, don't you, to, to bend that. I mean, that's that's thick steel, that is, isn't it? You're not just going to bend that wee little bottles warming it up here. You need like a press on it or something, don't you? I should think. I don't really know. But we'll find out, won't we? Yay! Oh, yeah. Find out where my water leak's coming from. Radiator leaking. <laughs> Paul struggle, bus. <laughs> It's a bloody good bus though, it's a bloody good bus. Get this 90 to run for you, Leos. <laughs> Poor Leos. Well, he's a busy boy. He's a busy boy, people. All that still needs to come out and all. And as well, what another major problem is, like, why not just put it back together and that's it? Because this door don't shut. We could just put it back together and just keep on chewing out, couldn't we? But this door don't shut now. You know, when that's lifted up, the door don't close. Thus, the machine doesn't work. Hey! That's life, that's life. Right, Leos, while we're waiting for this bloke, we'll go and get some food, because we've had nothing to eat today. We had a, we had a Greg's this morning, picked up a Greg's this morning, that thing there, chicken, chicken bake, freezing cold. And I mean freezing cold, and I thought to myself, well, eh, gummy. So I did hard, hardly ate anything. In fact, Leo dug it more than me. This lad here, Dave his name is, uh, he's turned up, showed him what the crack is in that. Is like been working on this kind of stuff for eight. Well, not this kind of stuff, but like been on the coal job and all that. Like you know, with conveyors or all that lot. Uh, and he's worked around him by the sounds of it his whole life. 
uh, and we had just explained to him what the crack was and that. And I was cleaning that thing out and come out here. Next thing, he's, he's getting started. No moaning, no nothing. <laughs> no big job. He didn't seem to. He's like, yeah, yeah. I'll just be. I'll, I'll be that out now. He's just gonna do it out of his van. But the sounds there. Fair play to lad. He says, do you want to from the garage, mate? Like, oh, I'm borrowed chocolate. Yeah. He's like, I'll get you a bar of chocolate, mate. Well done. That's <laughs> quite hey, fucking half seven at night. It comes out half seven at night. No moaning in the note. Just comes out. And then fair, fair play to him. There is some people left, isn't there? Yeah, I got Miss Moore's bar. <laughs> he said, uh, he said, I don't like lasagna anyway. My missus made me lasagna for tea. <laughs> I don't like lasagna. <laughs> he said to Scotty, I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna put, put, put a dog in it. <laughs> this thing. <laughs> Scotty walked away and said to me, Come on, it's not gonna bark all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta laugh, ain't ya? He seems happy enough, I know that bloke. He's always got a smile on his face. Which is good, isn't it? Hopefully, if he uh, gets it straight, uh, straight enough tonight, I'm gonna put That's what I'm waiting, you see. I'm gonna put it back in again. Uh, so then it's up and running for the lads first thing in the morning, isn't it? Because they don't want to be messing around putting all that together uh, in the morning. I first stay late at night and do it tonight, then early in the morning. Suck that. I'm not a morning person. I'm a night person. I'm a night owl. Me and Leardag are night owls, aren't we, Leardag? Oh, that was good. I've, uh, that Oliver rang me up from Snowball Engineer and he rang me back. Uh, I didn't know whether he knew who I was by, but yeah, he did know who I was. Uh, so I've got his number now. So, Oliver, any problems? I'll be ringing you, isn't it? Keep the fucking heat, you know what I mean? Bro. Can we get to work with that, or what? You can do, but I don't think she'll do well. Try it. Try it. Yeah. Well, that ain't gone out, has it? Yeah. Yeah, I tried eating that up, but can't get the heat through. Obviously, you need you need like two big pepper pots on that to warm that 20 mil steel up. So, we're going to. That's a dog look, and then he's going to wedge it. So he's going to weld that there, and then get a wedge in between there, and then try and bend this one down. But we noticed, and all, it's not only bent that plate there, it has also bent this down as well, look. Can you see? Ow, just burnt myself on my cover suit. Yeah, so that main thing's bent as well. So, even if we do straighten that, it's not going to be perfect, is it? Eight, nine, nine mil there. You know what I mean? So it's took a great hit there, look, on the jaw here. Took a great hit, boom, boomed it down. And then obviously they've snapped and it's buckled them and all. I don't know really how it's happened, but I thought it had been hit up, but it hasn't. It's just, I don't know. It's took a massive hit, I mean. I've never known a dog like you, Leels. Put you on the floor, it's like you've been bloody, look, he do not know what he's doing, look. It's like, oh, what are you on the floor now? What are you putting on the floor for? Dave's welding the dog there. You're a dog here. Leos, you've got to be more adventurous. Right, there the two dogs welded on. Dog number one, dog number two. Now I've got to get them wedges there, look. And then wedge it down. And then try and hit it down. And then if it does go down, weld it into place. on these dogs they're just we're never going to get it perfect because that end's lifted down anyway yeah. like but get a bit of support on it the dave's welding that up now the top one that is we've got it as near as damn it we've measured it and we've measured the machine 
and it's near as damn it is really we're never going to get it straight because as i say the old thing's buckled but as long as we can get it straight enough to bolt it in and get that door down that's as good as it's going to get really we can't do miracles at night can you I said to Dave and all, one thing we asked Scotty, obviously, he will pay you, mate. It's none of this 90-day stuff or like that, like that. He'll pay you. You know what I mean? That's one good thing, obviously. You don't mind doing it, you see, dear. Yeah, I don't mind doing it for you. I pay you, don't I? That's it. That's all you want. And then do work. Get paid for it. What more can you ask for, Leos? Can't ask for any more, can you? <laughs> Going to cut it and then veer tight, you see. Cut it to weaken it. Bend it down. Not cut all the way through it. And then VTR, and then we can straighten it, weld it. It's got a bit of a snake in it, but no to worry about that. Cut it down there, perfect. We're not bothered about a bit of a snake, Dave, are we? No, fucking 12 o'clock at night, we're not, mate, anyway. Hey! Turn the lights out. <laughs> yeah. Dave says, turn the lights out, make it look beautiful. <laughs> turn all the lights out, Scott, it looks beautiful, this job. <laughs> hey, you ain't done enough more food. He fucking has a lot. Ow, oh, shut up. Fucking ow. Don't come free it, though. They'll have a good shot, does it? You have to grab They don't come free, do they, mate? Look at this, boys. <laughs> <laughs> 12 o'clock at night. Woo woo, still loving it. It's still here. Hey, what do you reckon, Scott? For the straightness. I reckon that's alright, you know. I reckon it's got a bit of a snake in the middle, but. I reckon Dave's pulled it out the back. Oh, I reckon he has an all, on not Fucking hell. We'll be ringing Dave more often. Absolutely. Don't <laughs> put him on YouTube and never get him back. <laughs> yeah. You get too famous, Dave, on YouTube, mate. 12 o'clock, Scott. Best time to work in it. <laughs> <laughs> See, See like Scott's hour. still here, like, like he loves it, lot. Scott loves it, like he loves nighttime work, don't you, Scott? He really loves it, man. Yeah. I'm feeling like a spare part here, you know, because he's welded, I can't do it, can I? You know, you feel like a, a not very useful engine. <laughs> I'm gonna get set up for the big install. That's what I'm getting set up for, guys. He's fucking done it, Dave. Has. He's done it. He's done it, people. Ha! <laughs> hey, a bloody good man, David. Rob. <laughs> that plate on look before that was up high that's why the door was not shut in and now Dave look at that now we got Mitch out of bed because we couldn't shut the door <laughs> oh is it shut yeah Dave get up there baby yeah Oh, we're in Gaptip, we're in Gaptip. No, we're in Gaptip. Look, it shuts. Shuts, that's all we wanted to know. Shuts. Well, that's all we wanted to know. Cheers, Mitch, for getting up in the night, mate. Well done. All right, all right. It's only half two, isn't it? Start the night shift now, mate. Yeah, he may as well stay here. <laughs> Scotty! Yay! <laughs> right, people. Catch you on the next one. Yeah, I will. Last man out the gate again. We love being the last people out the gate. <laughs> See you a bit, people. Catch you on the next one.